Hi, I'm Mark Gunlock. I'm a solutions architect here at Xrite, and I'd like to show you a little bit about using ColorCert's view layouts to customize the software for different user applications. Okay, so let's take a look at the, the different kinds of layouts. So you can select your layouts uh, down below here. We've got pull down. We can select different layouts. All right, so let's take a look at this first one. Uh, I'm going to load a color here first so we can see what these things look like. So in this case, this might be a press operator. They, uh, they like to see their LAB plot, how their measurements relate to their tolerance. They like to see a list of their measurements that they've taken and their pass and fail. Uh, and they might like, like this window open with the details because perhaps there's additional notes in here they need for production or perhaps for additional measurements uh, or as they take measurements, they may want to add notes to those, okay? So that works out really well for a press operator perhaps. Maybe another press operator may like to see something actually very basic. So we've got perhaps just something as simple as this. One big LAB plot shows the measurements they've taken as well as a list of their trials with their pass-fail. Could be as simple as that. Perhaps uh, you're looking at what the ink room might want to see. So we take a look at that. The ink room, they like to see spectral curves oftentimes in ink room. So they may turn that on. Okay. And... Let's say I'm in management and I want to see how a color has run over time. I've got another window here. This is going to show me spectral curves, LAB plots, and it's going to show me how this color has been running over time. It's in tolerance, it's in tolerance, out of tolerance, and so on. So uh, lots of different kinds of view setups uh, that we can use here. Okay, so let's take a look at how you'll build uh, a custom layout here. So I'm going to click on this pull-down menu here, and you'll see that there's there's eight different window layouts we can, we can arrange here. I've got a couple down here that just left as generic names here. Those are still configurable. I can actually reconfigure any of these, but these have never been configured. So let me start with this one here. And I can see my layout has placeholders for what we call widgets to go into each of these spots. Those are different ways to present data. All right, so I can change my layout by clicking on this button. And you can see little diagrams that describe each of the buttons. I'm going to go with one that looks like this. I've got two across the top, one across the bottom. And uh, perhaps I want to create one that is a, a report for a, a customer. I just want to show them that I hit their color and uh, I've, I've got good measurements. So I'm going to click up here and I'm going to go to lab view. That looks good. And I can scale that, of course. I can I'm doing quite, quite good on that color there, so I can make sure it fills that nicely. Uh, then I can go over here, and uh, on this one, I'm going to put in, say, a visual color. This shows a relative difference between the, the trial and the sample. And then across the bottom, I'm going to put some data down here. I'm going to go with uh, trials with deltas. Okay, for this bottom window, I'm going to set this to view some... Uh, some trial data. So I'm going to click on this button here and I'm going to select the trials with deltas. And this will show a list of the, the last trials that I took within the date period that I selected up here. And I can see uh, how well the scores were, pass and fail, and so on. And with this, I can use the reporting function to create a PDF just by selecting reporting and screen print the PDF. It'll write a PDF that looks just like what we see on the screen and I can email that to a customer or to management or any other concerned uh, stakeholder. So lastly, uh, I don't want to leave this generic window name here, so I'm going to go to edit name and I'm going to call this, give it a name that's meaningful to me and save that and now that shows up in the list. So I've got a number of different ways that uh, I can change the desktop layout for different purposes, for different users, and I can just simply switch to uh, the layout that I need to use. All right, so there we've looked at uh, a lot of different ways you can rearrange the desktop to specifically uh, present data the way an operator may need it. An ink room operator needs to see different data than management, which needs to see different data than the press room operator. So we can, and some operators uh, at the press may like to see just different layouts. Uh, so you can customize that up to eight different windows within the software.